got some Walgreens and CVS haulage for you and me. I think I'll start with CVS. I will. I went in there with a huge bunch of mound of coupons in my hand. And I was trying to find this little crease brush by MUA, Makeup Academy. Um, I wanted to send this to my friend. I've been collecting a few brushes I think she should try out. And then I got this liner brush for some gel liners. So there's that. It was buy one, get one free. And each one is $10, so I saved $10 on this. Yay, CVS. Thank you. As you noticed, my hair has been cut, and I needed some new tools to help style it. So it was buy one, get one half off on the Conair brushes. So I got this um, Lift and Style comb, and it's got... Oh, as you can see, the little red comb piece inside the comb. And I think you can use the other end to separate. And then the classic teaser with the pick. What's it called? Volume and fullness. And I replaced my broken Revlon vent brush for blow drying. So let's get in some fun stuff. Hair clips. Those like body pins and socks disappear on me. Needed some cuticle rehab by Sally Hansen. It's new, I suppose. My cuticles are in dire need of some rehab. Because I try to send it to rehab and it's a no, no, no. On the nail front, my favorite base coat in all the land is, let's see if you can you see this. Sally Hansen's Complete Care Extra Moisturizing 4-in-1 Nail Treatment. There you go. Um, it's my all-time favorite base coat. And since I had a 20% off my entire purchase coupon, I had a whole bunch of other CVS coupons, I was like, I'm going to purchase it now, even though I'm not done with the one I'm using, and so that way I don't have to shop for it when it's the most expensive. I actually saved almost $60 on my receipt today. That's a lot of money. On the nail front again, I got two new paint polishes by Pop Arazi. Um, I love the little bottle. Look at that, paparazzi. Um, I've been into yellow nails lately. This one's called Love All, and then I got this pretty green one, because I had to, in, in Lime, oh, Limousine. Pretty. Nail polishes are good. We like nail polishes, don't we? We do. Uh, my favorite top coat in all the land, I think you might have seen, maybe, I don't know if I've done the haul or ep empties first. Essie's Good to Go, top coat, rapid dry and shine, world's best top coat, hands down, hands down. <clears throat> Is that all I have for nails? No, I actually bought a new nail kit. I love this little uh, set from Revlon. It's the Marchessa uh, kit, and it comes in pink, navy, and black. I got the navy one with the uh, silver print, and it comes with a uh, shine brush, brush. Nail clipper, my favorite nail file, and a cuticle trimmer, and it stores in this little package and you can carry it in your purse perfectly. I had one, and I lost it, so I had to get another one. I think that's like $8 for this, so I had a good coupon. I had a coupon. I had a coupon. I think that's it for nails. I did buy two pairs of lashes and another one of my favorite eye glues of all the land. I love this eye glue. It doesn't have a brush on it, it has a spatula, so the brush doesn't flay out. It's the silicone free, um, you apply it and it's like this creamy blue white cream and then as it dries it turns into this translucent blue till it turns clear so you know it's getting ready for you to stick on your eye. I love that lash glue, so I bought a new one. And I got a set of Kiss 03 lashes and I just saw these and they look so much fun. 385 spikies. Bat, 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 bat. I was excited to try those. I bought a new matte lipstick by NYC because I love their lipsticks that are shiny. And they just came out with their satin matte ones. Can you read that? Satin matte. There you go. Focus. And I picked mine up in the color Red Suede. 452. I can't wait to try it on. I love red lipstick and I love red matte lipstick. And I got two new liquid liners. I've been on the hunt for a dark brown liquid liner that was in a marker tip form. And I found this L'Oreal 
liner intense in earthen rock brown and as you can see it's got a felt tip and I like L'Oreal liners so I'm excited to try that for some reason I've been wanting brown liquid liner though so <clears throat> the Maybelline one I have is pretty good but it's a soft floppy brush so it's a little harder to handle and then I picked this up this is the uh, Physicians Formula Sexy Booster Cat Eye Collection Liquid Eyeliner, besides the packaging being utterly gorgeous, it has a felt tip liner. I don't know if I can show that where it shows it to you, right here. Um, and I'm excited to try it. And a high heel charm on your eyeliner, so you feel like ultra grim. Um, I'm excited to try it. Liquid eyeliners rule. Alright, that was CVS. Um, let's see, for Walgreens, there's some pretty exciting stuff. There is, I swear. I love the color balance I've got going on here. It's nighttime. So I look really green, I think. Bag of cotton buds. Need those. Okay. Let's see. A new mascara by Fergie Wet n Wild. It's new to me. Might not be new to you. Turn up the volume. Really been loving the mascara. Uh, the Max Volume one. I'm seriously, I use it almost every day. I love that mascara. Um, this one I got in Just Can't Get Enough. It's supposed to uh, be intense, ultra black. So that's a good choice for me. Wet and wild. We love me wet and wild. Uh, oh, hey, look. Another pair of lashes. Just some nice natural looking 116s by Ardell. Love my lashes. I got a nude pencil by Wet n Wild because I didn't realize they made a nude one for your waterline area. That kind of made me excited because these are only 99 cents. Seriously, seriously good deal. I got... I wanted to try a new eyebrow pencil but this one's by uh, Milani and I got it in dark brown. It's got a spoolie and I think it's a... yeah it's one of those twist up pens, pencils which I prefer to the, the sharpening ones so... Yay! This thing's crazy. Look at this uh, lash comb. Flared out lash comb. Medieval torture device. I'm thrilled to have it. I can't wait to try it. To really get in there and separate some clumpies out of some mascara lashes. Two Wet n Wild brushes because I saw them there and I had never tried them. I got the big powder brush. Let me pull that out. Um really inexpensive, so that's why I had to try it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it smells like skunk. I'll need to wash that before I use it. <clears throat> and then I got a eyeshadow brush. By Wet n Wild. Really cheap. I think I got a couple more Wet n Wild things in here that are really excitement. Oh, I got the third blush in the uh, Wet n Wild blush collection. This one is in a brush with Destiny. It's the most neutral, natural looking blush they have. I already have the two other ones, the bright pink one and the bright orangey, corally one. But I thought this reminded me a lot of Milani's uh, Luminoso. And I love Wet n Wild, so I had to try it. Yay! Okay. This is something I had never seen, and I was so shocked to find it in the Walgreens. Two palettes, palettes by Wet n Wild. Look at these. Fergie Wet n Wild palettes. Aren't those just something? The bottom one is called, uh, separate names. Oh, Paris Runway. And this one's called Milano Collections. I was super excited to see them. Um, and this one, it looks like it has one, two, three mattes. This one looks like it may have none. All purples and pinks and blacks and grays. And then we got the golds and rose golds and the browns and blacks. Are you kidding me? Look at these. Wet n Wild palettes. Now these were actually more expensive than like the other Fergie Wet n Wild palettes. These ones were $9.99 each. So if you can find them though. I haven't tried them out yet. I can't tell you if they're good. I will be doing a couple of looks. One in each for you and let you know how I feel. But I was super excited to see these. Oh my god. I love them. Wet n Wild's like my favorite uh, drugstore brand. You might notice. You might. Okay. So since I was over in the eyelash area, I always like to look at the brushes, see if they come up with any new brushes I might like to try. And they did. Um, going along with the Disney Princess thing, 
I found this Soho London sponge, like a beauty blender, but not, I've had the original one before and it's not bad. Um, it's a lot better than a lot of the ones I've tried that are like dupes. But this was a Snow White one. You can kind of see her silhouette there. And it's bright red. And it says she's a beautiful angel, lovely and sweet. So I remember with the last one I had, the Soho London, um, I ended up cutting it in half and then I really liked it. But I'll try this one by itself first before I cut it in half. But look at that packaging, it gets me every time. Oh my God, Disney Princess. Um, and then another set of sponges. Oh, that sponge was uh, $9.99. This one is called the Aurora Fairy Sponge 3-Piece Set. The green, pink, and blue um, for grace and beauty. I really have no idea what these are going to feel like, and I'm not really going to think they're going to be that great. Some of you may know I love my beauty blender to pieces. Love it. I absolutely love it. I give it as gifts to people who need new sponges. But this just it, this is $12.99 for this trio. I will try them out, and just so you know, if I don't like these, I can return them. So I just, oh, look at that. I'll let you know if it's good enough to, to waste your money on. The final thing from Walgreens is um, this Jasmine Trio of Brushes. Look at how beautiful that is. And these are also by Soho London. You get a, let's see, an eyebrow spoolie, an eyebrow brush. The middle one is a crease and detail brush, and then this one is a fluff and liner blush brush. Let's see right there, that little tiny line. Look how tiny. Oh, I'm wearing the nail polish I got in my Ipsy bag. I love it. I seriously, I was telling somebody, I think it was in a comment, I polished my nails with one coat and I was like, bam, glitter. And if you're wondering what lipstick I'm wearing, it's the Milani Glam Matte Glam. Can you see that? There we go. Out of the way, Matt Glam. Sorry for the bad lining. I was just so excited. Had to share my little haul with y'all because I want to try it all out and I wanted to talk about it and let you know my opinions on it pretty soon. Ooh, my hair went flat. There. See, short hair. Anywho, thanks for stopping by. I hope you had fun hanging out with me in my little shopping trip. Um, I know I just posted a haul from Target, but. These are things that I thought were so exciting for me to try. They might not be new to you, but they're new to me. Um, I hope you have a great day. It ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun.